Genetic counselling is essentially a communication process and it can really be done by any health professional, but essentially is probably best done by a genetic counsellor who is an allied health specialist who's trained in genetic counselling um, and has the time and the expertise to explain a genetic result to you and provide you with support and education and the time to explain a genetic result. Often genetic results can mean that you have a genetic condition which is lifelong. That can be a really confronting process. So a genetic counselor can be available to provide you with that extra time and support to help you adapt to that result and provide you with that, with that kind of extra layer of support. Essentially, a genetic counselling appointment is usually face-to-face -face or virtual, and uh, and it, essentially it's really just a long chat. So we would collect family history information from an individual, and usually it's about yourself and then your parents and your grandparents, and if you're an adult and you've got your own children, your children as well. We collect your family history to help us inform your our conversation with you, and then we have a chat about what that means in terms of the result and how that works. It means that we can help you interpret the result, the inf medical information we have, or we can assess whether you do have a genetic condition, and then we go through that information. We we do any testing that we need to do. Usually the testing is done in conjunction with other doctors, either a clinical geneticist or a sub specialist like an immunologist in the case of HAE and then we talk you through the result that might be done over several appointments or over the telephone and then in person. I think for HAE the probably the most important role is there's probably two important roles so I guess first of all making sure that the result is interpretable so for any genetic condition sometimes we get results that are uh, difficult to interpret. Sometimes they're really clear cut. We found the result and it's been described in lots of other people before and we say, oh, that's the answer. Great. We know we've seen it in lots of other people with HAE. Slam dunk. In other people, we find changes and we, we say we're not sure whether it's actually the answer or not and we need to clarify more things. And that's particularly the role of a genetic counsellor because we can help you clarify the, the, the result by testing other people in the family and making sure that we've explained the uncertainty and, and how to grapple with that through the family. So that's one aspect of the genetic counsellor's role in HAE. The other aspect is explaining that this is an inherited condition and it's inherited in, a, in an autosomal dominant fashion, which means every generation might be at risk. And if you have the condition, it's a 50-50 chance of passing it on. If you were worried about having the, the, the risk of passing the condition on to your children, there are potential options for you in terms of your own, own family planning options. So a genetic counsellor could discuss that with you, or we could alternatively arrange testing for your, the rest of your family, including your children. So that's the other option in terms of um, a genetic counsellor's role is in family planning or testing other people in the family. Genetic counsellors in Australia and New Zealand usually require a referral from either their GP or a subspecialist like an immunologist. There are genetic services all over Australasia. Um, you can be seen either in your metropolitan hospital or in the regional centre. Uh, or And these days the, there are telehealth services available, so actually if you can't make it in person, you can be seen from the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm.